The reserve is located in Broome, on the northwest coast of Australia. For more than 20 years now, Malcolm has acted as a conservationist, a useful public service, in the sense that he's responsible for capturing the most dangerous specimens and relocating them in his park. This crocodile needs to be moved. It's impossible to move an animal this size with mere human strength. Malcolm and his team will winch it onto a trailer. He's missing a foot, probably a battle wound from a fight for a pond. Just try and keep him. The crocodile is pampered like a thoroughbred throughout the trip. It must be constantly sprayed down. Once in Broome, it's the delicate task of unloading the monster. It will take the crocodile a few months to become familiar with its new environment. Malcolm doesn't only protect crocodiles from poachers, but also men from crocodiles. He's here among the aborigines of Wanar Point, north of Broome. His friend, David Wigan, shows him the infested creeks and marshlands. A fresh footprint in the sand. Malcolm will get the animal out of its hiding place in the mangroves. Getting a leash around his head is all that's needed for this little bit of a crocodile. Malcolm will take it back to Broome with him. Of course, all the captures aren't quite so easy. Crocodiles mainly hunt at night. That's the time they come out and get caught in the nets that have been set for them. This one will be released. He's a protected species. The tide comes in, the perfect moment to catch one of the largest specimens that's been a concern to the aborigines. It must be more than five meters long, with a tail that looks like a dinosaur's. Malcolm finally gets the crocodile. A bit of meat is rotting on the bank, and the croc finds himself lassoed. second to securely immobilize his jaw. He weighs around 600 kilos and will be one of the largest residents in Broome. de la Fournaise on Reunion Island is one of our planet's hot spots. It's a partially active volcano. In 1986, Maurice Kraft went to film the fantastic but life-threatening lava flows as they plunged into the ocean. Reunion Island, with its volcanic origins, is located in the Indian Ocean east of Africa. This island began forming two million years ago. Over the centuries, the layers of lava built up and finally broke through the surface of the ocean to form an island. Today, its highest peak is over 3,000 meters in altitude. Piton de la Fournaise. This volcano appeared on the island 4,000 years ago. At first glance, there's nothing exceptional about it, and yet it's one of nature's oddities. Unlike other volcanoes, La Fournaise wasn't formed on a fissure in the Earth's crust. Instead, the magma forced its own way up from the planet's depths. 
It literally pierced the surface of the earth in creating the volcano, an unusual phenomenon known as a hot spot. In 1986, the lava began flowing towards the ocean, and 30 hectares were added to the island. The volcanologist Maurice Kraft was there to witness this breathtaking sight. 